Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Mariana Segura. And I'm Dana Kamir. It's the last week of school before our two-week winter break, so let's stay focused in our classes. As well as being the last week before break, it is also our Winter Spirit Week. Here's a segment to remind you about the dress-up days for this week. Winter Spirit Week. Monday, December 14th, Pajama Day. Tuesday, December 15th, Favorite Holiday Movie. Wednesday, December 16th, Twin and Squad Day. Thursday, December 17th, Ugly Sweater Day. Friday, December 18th, Holiday Cheer. Be sure to dress up to earn spirit points for your class. I can't wait to dress up this week. There is now a usable skateboard rack by the bus loop doors thanks to our wonderful custodian, Bill. If you'd like to use it and need a lock, please go to the attendance window and check one out. Also, to all the seniors, December 18th is the last day to turn in graduation orders at discount pricing on the Herf Jones website. And also, please remember to start turning in your senior and baby pictures to the manila envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door or by email at phoenixhsmedia at gmail.com. The Phoenix High School Carrying Clothing Closet is opening soon. Clothes are always needed, especially coats seen a w as winter is quickly approaching. A variety of men and women clothing is needed and available. Talk to Denise Wright in the front office or Erica Hofseth to make an appointment for break, lunch, before or after school. Also, Naya Gomez will be hosting a book fair today through this Thursday the 17th at lunch in the library conference room. Do you want to really get into the spirit of the holidays? The PHS choirs will be presenting their winter concert on Tuesday, December 15th at 7 o'clock p.m. Come and enjoy new and familiar songs of the holiday season at this free concert in the Rose Theater. The chamber and concert choirs will be performing winter favorites like A Charlie Brown Christmas, Do You Hear What I Hear, Believe from Polar Express, Little Drummer Boy, Winter Wonderland, and many more. Now we have a segment to get y'all pumped for it. Coming soon near you. On December 15th, PHS Choir. December 17th, PHS Band. At the Rose Street Theater. Come and enjoy Phoenix High Winter Band and Choir Concert. Looks like it's going to be loads of fun. Go to the band concert on Thursday night and you will also have the opportunity to bring water to communities around the world that have none. Berenice Montes and Gladys Cruz will be will have a table for their senior project selling candy and water. All proceeds will support their water project. Are you interested in winning a trip to Washington DC and have the chance to win a um, $20,100 scholarship? Do you like poetry? Ms. Johnson is starting up the Poetry Out Loud contest. Poetry Out Loud is a recitation contest open to all Oregon high school students. It is a free program that encourages young performers to dive into American poetry through memorization and competitive performance. For more information, go to a meeting in her room, S300, Wednesday, December 16th, during lunch. In FFA News, Tuesday, December 15th, there is an adopt a family shopping after school. Everyone interested, please meet by the Ag Building. On Wednesday, December 16th, there is a mandatory meeting for those planning to show a market animal at 4.45 in Mr. Kennedy's room. And at 5.30 p.m., there is a winter party and chapter meeting held in Miss Walkup and Mr. Kennedy's rooms. The winter party will consist of a white elephant gift exchange, potluck, caroling, and much more. Bring family and friends. And finally, on Thursday, December 17th, there is a Parley Pro meeting at lunch. Get food and then go to Miss Walkup's room. Phoenix Counseling is working with Phoenix High School to provide additional resources for students for student counseling options. We have a segment to introduce you to a counselor from Phoenix Counseling who will be available for students here at PHS. 
Hi, I'm Carrie Chisholm. I want to introduce myself. I'm from Phoenix Counseling. I'm going to be over here on Fridays from 9 to 3, every Friday. I will be available for counseling, any kind of struggles that you might be going through. Um, I'm here just as a support, it's confidential. I can come get you or you can come find me in room N 107, right by Jay's classroom. Um, so again, my name is Carrie, and if you would like to talk to someone, I am here from Phoenix Counseling, and I will be here on Fridays from 9 to 3. Look forward to meeting you. Bye. If you are a junior who wants to work with important people and make positive changes in your community, you may want to apply for the Bezos Scholarship Program. Students chosen for this program will take an all-expense paid trip to the Aspen Ideas Festival in Colorado to meet with some of the world's leaders and thinkers. This is a great opportunity to list on college and scholarship applications. See Ms. House for more information on the application process. We would like to know about services you participated in within the last year to make our school, community, state, or world a better place. Please make sure you fill out a service award application Deadline for submission is today, December 14th. DECA members who are going to the Klamath event on Tuesday, please be at the school bus loop by 6.55 a.m. and make sure you have a pencil and business attire. Also, bring in your permission slips and don't forget to pay your dues. DECA also wants people to have a heads up that winter formal is Saturday, January 30th with DJ Gemini. More details will follow. Also, if you are falling behind on schoolwork or just need a quiet place to work on homework, there will be ASAP after school every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. If you are interested, please sign up in the Diploma Center. You may go see teachers for help until 4 or work quietly in Mrs. Pond's room. If you need a ride home, the ASAP bus can take you. It leaves at 4.25. See Mrs. Pond's if you have any questions. Any students interested in taking robotics as a second semester elective class needs to see Mr. Rhodes for an application. The application deadline will now be Friday, December 18th. Also, if you took robotics either of the last two years and would like to sign up for the next level course through RCC, please see Mr. Rhodes as soon as possible. Students of the Month for the month of November. Compassionate, being sympathetic and caring towards others and wanting to help. Freshman, Justin Vermilion, Case Kuykendall, Sophomores, Joey Price, Omna Hurain. Juniors Micah Dungy Piedad Carrera Seniors Quinton Jeans Michaela Pond Thank you, Students of the Month, for the month of November. Now for some sports news. Girls basketball had a game Friday against Lakeview. The girls battled hard in a tight one-point contest, but unfortunately fell 36-35. to They will be traveling to St. Mary's Wednesday, December 16th, and on Friday, December 18th, they will also have another away game at South Umpqua. Good luck, girls. <laughs> Boys basketball had a game Thursday against Lakeview and fell with a score of 44-36. to on Friday, they had a game against Taft and fought to overcome injuries, but lost 80-31. to They finished the weekend competing with Cascade Christian, but once again came up on the wrong end of a 51-29 to score. This week, they will be traveling to St. Mary's on Wednesday, December 16th, and on Friday, December 18th, they will, 18th, they will also have another away game at South Umpqua. Good luck, boys. The swim team competed over the weekend at Medford YMCA, representing our community with great results. The girls finished in third place and the boys came in first. Congratulations, boys team, for the win. Also to our double event winners, Emily Samudio on the 100 fly and 500 free. Lauren Speaks won the 100 free and 100 breast. Additional events winners are Alex Shepard on the 200 free, Tiana Hurd on the 50 free, Ethan Shepard on the 53, and Taylor Brown on the 500 free.
The wrestling team had a tournament in North Bend over the weekend, and Phoenix placed two wrestlers into the quarterfinals in number two seed Trace Vega, 220, and number three seed Cedar King, 145. Over 30 teams took place in this tournament, and Phoenix competed very well in this early season contest. Great job to all our sports team. Breakfast specials this week are Monday, join Leadership in the Galley for a pancake breakfast in the Jim Commons. Tuesday, breakfast burrito. Wednesday, blueberry bagel bagels. Thursday, biscuits and gravy. And Friday, mini cinnamon rolls. Lunch specials this week are Monday, Salisbury steak with, a, with smashed potatoes, gravy, and a roll. Tuesday, cheesy breadsticks with tomato soup. Wednesday, smoky barbecue chicken. Thursday, holiday meal. Friday, cheeseburger mac and a garlic roll. The gallery crew would like to wish everyone a safe and fun holiday. Now it's trivia time. Last week's question was, what days are the basketball tournament? And the winner is... Olivia Holt in Mr. Janet's Sex Advisory. She said Thursday and Friday. Make sure to pick up your prize in Mr. Rhodes' room and 206. This week's question is, what is the deadline for seniors to get a discounted price online for graduation orders? Please share your answers into the, the manila envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Check out more PHTV action at www.youtube.com slash phtvnet. This week's episode will include our extended version featuring this year's holiday special. Please stay tuned for the Pledge of Allegiance, and as always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. and they didn't celebrate Christmas? They'll probably act normal. No, no, they get offended. You can't offend anyone. You're oppressing people just by celebrating Christmas. Why would anyone care? Are you dense? Getting mad over things that don't affect you is the American way. Whatever, Merry Christmas. Say happy holidays, you're gonna trigger me! Bill O'Reilly, now that's the man I can trust. Oh, Rhodes is in here? Well, when he gets back, tell him I said happy holidays. What do you mean, happy holidays? Don't you mean Merry Christmas? I just wanted to wish him my happy holidays. I don't see a problem with it. You're oppressing my beliefs. Just because I didn't say Merry Christmas? Yes, you're offending me and belittling my beliefs. All I'm doing is including everyone. Well, you know what? You're wrong. I'm ruining my Christmas. Get out of here. Haven't you learned anything? This is contraband. You're gonna ruin someone's holiday. Can't I just enjoy my Christmas? Of course you can. You just have to act like you're walking through a minefield of oppression. 
whoa, 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 wait a second. What, you just gonna take that? What lies is that evil man spreading to you now? You gotta show Dingus over here what Christmas is all about. You gotta get your way. Don't let this Pringus boss you around. You hate getting bossed around, don't you? You're the anti-Christmas hate monger around here. Don't talk to me that way, mister. I have a degree in petty self-defense. Like I'm afraid of you, you stupid jabroni. Go beat him up in the name of Christmas. I'm glad you decided to join me. Now go get him for the justice of your peers. What was that pathetic performance? Zero hits is not a strategy. Get back in there. What are you doing back here already? Go get him! Stop it, stop it, please. Don't you guys see? This isn't what the holidays are about. You need to realize that although people celebrate different holidays, they should be able to express their own. And you, you need to realize that other people celebrate different holidays. They're not trying to oppress you by celebrating their own. I hate morals. Me too.